Alright, what's up internet? So, umabot na tayo ng 20,000 subs sa uh, YouTube and you know, this channel was supposed to be free marketing for the shop. And also, natutuwa naman ako gumawa ng video eh. Marami rin ako natututunan sa research ko before I shoot videos. So it was really more for the customers and more for myself. Pero ngayon na umabot na ng 20k, I'm going to admit medyo na wili ako sa YouTube. I want to reach 100,000 subs para may silver plaque tayo galing sa YouTube. And so, every time umabot tayo ng milestones, 20k, 40, 60, 80, 100, parang gagawa ko nung YouTube video. Um, I noticed na, you know, these are the kind of videos that YouTubers tend to make. But rest assured, walang prank video, walang kalokohan na ganyan, walang giveaways because we're a shop and we're supposed to be selling items, not giving them away. So for 20k, I'll talk about magkano ba kita ko sa YouTube, sa maliit na channel na to. 40k, I'll talk about the things I use to film. Kasi sa totoo lang, wala akong alam at all. Before the shop, medyo may experience naman ako sa computers, medyo techie naman ako. But the whole recording thing and what to use, what equipment, I have no idea. I still have no idea. So in the 40k video, we'll talk about ano bang gamit ko para gumawa ng mga videos na to. 60k, we'll talk about the videos that flopped. I mean, syempre pinag-iisipan ko naman yung mga videos. I try to make things that are popular na feeling ko useful naman. Pero may ibang videos na feeling ko patok na patok, talagang ito si sikat and Yet, sobrang bomb sila. They flopped. At 80k, we will read out mean things that people say in the comments. Sobrang raming mean comments. Uh, tao din naman po ako. May damdamin. Nasasaktan. So, we'll save that video, the cry cry video for 80k. And when we finally reach 100,000 subs, I will be live. Gusto ko pag umabot ng 100k, live ako. So, mga 97,000 subs pa lang or so magla live stream na ako and then tuloy tuloy na yan hanggang umabot ng 100. Hopefully umabot ng 100 soon. Either I might be there for days or God knows how long. Baka bumaba pa, <laughs> bumaba pa yung subscriber count. Baka mas taka ko doon live streaming. But for the 20k video, pag-usapan natin magkano ba talaga kita ako sa YouTube. At a certain point, YouTube lets you run ads and you know, you get a cut kung magkano kita ng YouTube, may cut ka doon and then they send it to you uh, every month. And bawal talaga i-disclose or you know, nagagalit si Google pag you know, kunento mo magkano ba kita mo. Pero para lang mabigyan ko kayo ng idea kung magkano, uh, well, let's have a scale. The first job I ever had, the first real job, part-time teacher po ako sa isang college. And per month, yung gross ko doon, mga 5,500. Sobrang tagal na nito. This was way back in 2006. So that's 14 years ago. Um, part-time professor in a well-known university and yung pay ko was 5,500 per month. The current minimum wage in NCR is 537 pesos per day. Let's say you work for five days for four weeks. That comes out to 10,760 pesos a month. So mas malaki yung minimum wage ngayon kaysa sa nakuha ko dati as a part-time lecturer. My first full-time job was as a corporate lawyer. Abogado po ako, um, for those who didn't know before I put up Hardware Sugar. And nag-practice po ako ng corporate law sa isang law firm. My starting salary as a lawyer was around 22,000 pesos a month. So you can see the range. You have 5.5 as a part-time lecturer, 10.760 for minimum wage. And then my first full-time job as a lawyer was around 22,000 pesos a month. So, on that scale, sa mga measurements, you know, kung baga sa yardsticks na yan, saan mauhulog yung monthly earnings ko sa YouTube? Uh, yun nga, bawat sabihin yung exact amount, pero mas mataas kaysa sa dun sa part-time lecturer, pero mas mababa kaysa sa dun sa minimum wage. So, yung kita ko sa YouTube, hindi pa umaabot ng minimum wage. Uh, and sobrang layo dun sa monthly pay ko as a starting lawyer. So roughly, medyo nasa gitna siya nung part-time lecturer pay ko and yung minimum wage. Pero gross yun. And there are costs associated. May, may mga gastos ako para sa YouTube channel na to. Ano yung mga gastos na to? Well, let's say libre na yung internet. 
we, even without the YouTube channel, I would still need internet. I would still get, you know, I would still subscribe to an internet provider. So let's not count that as a cost. Yung equipment na gamit ka ngayon, libre lahat. Uh, Ninaka ko yung iPhone nung asawa ko, so that was free. I also use an iPad so I can see what I'm filming. That's also free because I also stole it from her. Yung pag download ng software, libre rin for the editing. But actually, I don't edit a lot of the videos anymore. I used to, but now, sa Hardware Sugar team, may parang front end talaga kami na gumagawa ng lahat ng graphics namin, gumagawa ng coding para sa layout ng website, ng mobile, uh, yung mobile version when you go to the site, and all of our posters and things like that, siya gumagawa. And in fairness, uh, natuto din siya mag-edit, and so siya na ngayon yung nag -e edit um, ng karamihan ng mga YouTube videos namin. And she is much, much better at it than I am. Kaya gumanda yung quality ng editing ng mga videos kasi siya na nag-take over. But so I've diverted some time of that employee from doing hardware sugar things like creating posters and doing front-end coding and things like that to editing YouTube. So actually, that's a big expense that, you know, that the company is shouldering. The, the salary of that employee, part of that salary basically is going to having her edit the YouTube video. Videos. So, medyo malaki din yung gastos para lang sa editor. But, uh, she's watching this, so she's worth it. <laughs> I'm just saying na gastos yun. Uh, associated cost yun sa channel na to. We also do have a part-time editor that we ask to edit some of our other videos and that we pay him by per video. So, gastos din yun. And, it's also time out. Uh, as I mentioned, rin-research ko yung videos um, kasi ayoko naman kamali. Paminsan, nagkakamali ako and that just proves that I need to research even more. So, there's a lot of time. Marami nagsasabi sa comments na more content sana, sir. Uh, or, nagsasuggest na, oh, gawa ka ng 30k build tapos film mo or um, you know, a lot of other topics na actually I want to do all of those. Yung problema, pinapatakbo ko rin si Hardware Sugar which takes up a lot of time. So, there's a tension between, you know, how much time can I really devote para sa YouTube? Eh, yung main, yung, you know, pangunahing talagang focus ko ngayon is yung shop. So, ginagawa ko lang yung YouTube pag may time. Pero, yun, that also takes time away from me that I could be using for the shop, for inventory, or for whatever, for other things and so that's time so the cost of my time should also be factored in sa YouTube so kung i-total natin lahat yes may kita naman yung channel sa YouTube pero sa totoo lang kung ipagsama mo lahat ng mga expenses lugi pa yung kita namin sa YouTube versus how much we're paying for the editing and miscellaneous expenses and the time that I could be using instead of YouTube doing for other things and sa totoo lang Mas mahal pa yung kuryente nung shop kada buwan. Mas mahal pa yung gastos namin para sa kuryente kada buwan kaysa sa kita namin sa YouTube. So that's another way para ma-illustrate, you know, gaano ba kaliit yung kita namin sa YouTube. So at 20,000 subs, we're not really doing it for the money. Um, to be honest, I do enjoy making the videos. I enjoy reading the comments. Most of them, hindi yung mean comments. <laughs> um, and they really do help me kasi dami ko natututunan sa bagong, oy may bagong tech na pala, or may lalabas na bagong motherboard, or itong CPU na to, may problema, hindi siya value for money. Dami ko talaga natututunan because I have to research for the content of this channel. And before, I really did not care ilang subscribers ba yung channel na to. Um, I wasn't doing it for the subs. But now, to be honest, I care a little bit. Please help us reach 100,000. <laughs> um, it, it's a vanity metric. You know, wala talaga siyang, it, it really doesn't mean anything. So what? Naka 5,000 subs, 15,000, you know, 75,000. The irrational part of me wants that silver YouTube plaque. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, and for those who have subscribed, if you want to see me do those milestones, the 40K video, the 60k video, 80k video, 100k video. Please encourage people you know to subscribe as well so that we will reach those milestones faster. Um, but for the 20k video, long story short, mamumulubi ka kung yung kita nung YouTube mo parang yung kita nung Hardware Sugar YouTube. 
and mas malaki pa kita ng minimum wage kaysa sa kita namin ngayon sa YouTube. But again, we're not doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the shop. I'm doing it for myself. And hopefully, nakatulong naman yung content sa iba na you know may napulot na tech information or may nalaman na bago. And hopefully, more subs and more videos to come. Thanks for watching.